Hey there, I'm Blaze Thompson. I'm Ron Bradford. Welcome to Tactical Shrink Television. Today we'll be talking about our battle plan, Freakish Motion. Freakish Motion is all about the Tabata training system. Tabata was a speed skating coach in Japan who discovered that we can train our aerobic and anaerobic systems at the same time. Today's workout is very simple. You got push-ups, squats, sit-ups, and pull-ups. You have eight sets of each exercise. You'll perform 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, eight times in a row for a total of four minutes. You do that with each individual exercise. Let's take a look at the exercises as follows. Ron's gonna get in a push-up position for us. We're gonna have Ron turn to the side just a little bit so we can see the camera, there we go. All right, so remember good push-up. Stay in a straight line, go all the way down about three inches from the floor and back up. Ron will go for 20 seconds, go Ron. He's gonna hook it up. He's gonna get as many as he possibly can. In the first round of each exercise, you try to set the bar. Once you've set the bar in the first round, you try to meet it in each additional round. You got seven seconds. He's going for 20 seconds. And rest. Now he would rest for 10 seconds. Start it again. Eight sets like that in a row. No more rest than 10 seconds. It would be ready, go, now. Okay. First exercise is push-ups. Ron, show us an easier version of the push-up as well. So you got push-ups from your toes. How do you make it easier? Go push-ups from your knees. Just give us five reps. He still stays in the flat line, keeps the hips up. All right, thank you, Ron. Next exercise, sit-ups. Sit-ups, Ron, I'll start on his back. I'm trying to make him get down and up as much as possible. <laughs> sit-ups, you got three levels. Keep your hands behind your head, sit up, touch your elbows to your knees. Boom, that'd be the first version of the sit-up I'd like for you to pull off. If you can't pull off a sit-up like that, straighten your legs out, keeping your hands behind your head, this would be the second way to do a sit-up. Third way is no hands. So he's gonna free his arms from his head, use his arms for a momentum to get up. Go ahead. So you choose the level of sit-up you can handle, whether it's knees bent, hands behind your head, hands behind your head with legs straight, or using your arms to get up. But it's 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, eight times in a row. One minute rest, next exercise is gonna be squats. Sideways. So for squats, what Ron's going to do is cross his arms and point his elbows straight out. I need those elbows to stay straight out like a shelf. He's going to squat, sticking his butt back, weighting his heels, as many reps as he can get in 20 seconds. Go ahead and show me about five. Making sure he's shifting back, weight in the heel of his foot to protect the knee. Notice he's getting parallel to the floor. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds of rest, eight sets, he's done with squats. Final exercise. Pull-ups, coming to the pull-up bar. All right, same exercise here. Ron's gonna hang with straight arms, get himself above the bar. Go ahead and show us a good clean pull up. Excellent, as many as you can get in 20 seconds. Now, if you cannot complete pull ups, you can jump to help. You can also place a chair in front of you. And what we've done is we placed the chair in the rack. He's got his front leg on the chair. He's gonna use his foot to help a little on those pull ups for that 20 seconds. If you run out of juice on regular pull ups, Use the chair to assist. Once again, that's 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, eight sets for each exercise. Take a one minute rest between exercises. Once you get, once you get through all four exercises, you finish the day with five 100 yard sprints or 15 20 meter sprints uphill. Just find a hill, walk 20 steps up, put a little marker, that's how you'll know it's 20 yards. Generally, a normal step is about a yard. All right, that's it for today. Good luck.